we may uh, get the first signal of that when we hear the speeches from the uh, various leaders uh, later on tonight. Okay, thanks to Andrew, Chantel, and Bruce. We'll be back to them a little bit later. I want to quickly, uh, before we talk to our next guest, give you a sense of the, uh, the way the vote is broken down that's been counted so far in this, a night of a liberal majority government. Who thought they'd be saying that just two months ago? A liberal majority government, the numbers you see, the big numbers, 183 leading are elected, 104 conservatives, 33 NDP. What a huge drop for them. 10 for the Bloc Québécois. That's more than doubling their total from the last time. We're within two of official party status and the Green Party, Elizabeth May, at one. Here's your vote change board. The uh, Liberals are up 23 percent. There are over 43 percent of the votes cast so far tonight have gone to the Liberals. Remember, they were under 20 the last time round, and people were saying the party was finished as a force. The Conservatives down eight points, sitting right now at around 31 percent. And that has been a constant for them, if you believe in polls, throughout this campaign. For the last 11 weeks, they've always been in the sort of 29, 30, 31 range, never budged. And there they are again tonight. The NDP, they were looking in the early 30s uh, when this campaign started, uh, where they, well, Jack Layton left them after the 2011 campaign. But tonight, they're down 12 and a half points. They're well under 20% at 18.1%. They're back to where they used to be in uh, the pre-2011 days. The Bloc Québécois at 4.2% uh, and uh, the Greens and others filling out the rest. With me for a few moments, Dimitri Soudas, who is a former key figure in the Conservative Party, one of those people who was extremely close to Stephen Harper for a long period of time, uh, former executive director and CEO of the Conservative Party of Canada, had a falling out with the party and a falling out with Stephen Harper last year, so he have been gone for most of the last year, but still very close to a lot of people in the Conservative Party. One assumes you've been talking to them. First of all, in terms of the result we're looking at tonight, Knowing what you know about Stephen Harper, what's he thinking and doing tonight? I have no doubt that um, he's disappointed, obviously. He's disappointed that um, he couldn't win uh, a fourth election, uh, but also it wasn't obvious. Uh, the last uh, prime minister to win four consecutive elections was the, in the early 1900s. At the same time, I have a feeling that tonight, um, he and his family, um, his wife, who's been by his side, uh, for all four election campaigns and his two kids, Ben and Rachel, who have now grown and um, are becoming young adults. Um, I think he's probably in a better headspace than he's ever been uh, before. He's leaving his party uh, as prime minister and as leader with 100 plus seats. Uh, it's not a repeat of the 90s, 1993 election, where uh, the Conservatives went from governing to just down two seats. But he's leaving his party after a loss to the son of Pierre Trudeau, who throughout his career was kind of his, the arch villain. Stephen Harper. Indeed. He wanted to destroy not just the Liberal Party, but he wanted to end the era of the Trudeaus forever. I, I'm sure that uh, losing to, uh, to Justin Trudeau, losing to a Trudeau is not something that um, uh, makes, him, makes him happy tonight. I'm sure he's very disappointed, um, but I also think he's, he's had a great run. He's been there for a decade. Um, he reunited the Conservative movement. Um, I, I may have had a falling out with him, but um, credit is due on certain things. Free trade, reuniting the Conservative movement, and taking the country through the global recession. Will it stay reunited after what we've witnessed tonight? Yes, I, I, I absolutely believe the Conservative Party will stay united. Be um, I but was young. Must have, people must have been coming to Stephen Harper and the key strategies of that campaign early on in this campaign saying, hey, what we're doing is not working. It's not working, and we're, we're going to lose if, unless we change. Well, I, I think what you saw in this campaign is the most experienced campaign team amongst all three. I mean, this campaign team had the experience of four national election campaigns um, in, 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 seven, in, t in 11 years. Um, but I have a feeling it wasn't necessarily the most unified team. Uh, and that demonstrates that I think the Liberal team uh, and the Liberal strategy team was probably more unified than the Conservative one. What are you and, and saying? And you see those cracks. What are you saying when you say it wasn't a unified team? It, it didn't. It, to me, from the outside, it didn't look um, like the senior team, once a decision was made in terms of which direction to go, that everybody was going in that direction. Did this Australian guy, Lyndon Crosby, did he have anything to do with this campaign, as far as you've heard? Very little. Uh, very little. Uh, I think he, he gave some advice on, on polling and focus groups uh, and messaging, but quite frankly, very little. Did he have anything to do with the Nakab decision? 
I don't think so, no. Who's made that decision? I, I, I think that ultimately that was the campaign manager. The campaign manager who decided that uh, at the end of the day, um, NICAB was what was going to win yet another government. But isn't the real campaign manager in that party Stephen Harper? Absolutely. At the, at the end of the day, the buck stops on the leader's desk. Uh, you're absolutely, absolutely right on that, Peter. And in 2011, when he won his majority, and 2008 and 2006, when he won his, his minority, he obviously deserves the credit for that. And ultimately, yes, uh, the buck stops on the leader's desk, which is probably why tonight we're going to see the first hints uh, of Stephen Harper uh, stepping down, obviously, as prime minister, given that his opponent uh, has won. But also, I have a feeling that he'll be hinting that uh, he will not be leading the Conservative Party uh, as leader of the official opposition, and he will be hinting that. Guy Giorno is, is apparently telling reporters as we speak that we will know the future of Stephen Harper tonight. Do you think he'll step down? I, I, I don't know if he's going to st step down as an MP. Uh, Paul Martin, uh, after he lost in 2006, stayed on as an MP. What I can tell you with certainty, uh, knowing the Prime Minister, is that he will not be leading the Conservative Party as the leader of the, of the official opposition. Uh, Dimitri, thanks very much uh, for this. And it was a, a, a difficult night, of, you know, in, in different ways for you, seeing it's kind of split uh, from them. But nevertheless, at the same time, you had a long-time uh, relationship uh, with Stephen Harper, close to him through the uh, good days. Uh, today's not a good day. It's the end of a chapter. End of a chapter. All right. Dimitri Soudis, thanks very much.